Who's ready for breakfast? I'm not hungry. Are you sure? It's Sugar Flakes cereal. Crispy! Did you say Sugar Flakes? There's nothing sweeter. It's the sweetest. Don't let them take my leg. Parents love them too. Kroger's Sugar Flakes are part of a complete breakfast. So here in Canada, our milk is a little different. It comes in bags. That's right, bags. Plastic bag. So, I'm going to demonstrate how you change the bag. So first of all, first step. You take the empty bag out, you make sure that you got no drips, and then you chuck it away. Now we're left with this empty milk container. I don't suggest sniffing this. Anyways, I don't suggest sniffing this because it gets pretty stanky. Um, so here's what you do. <laughs> here's what you do next. You take your floppy, jopply, swooshy milk bag. And it gets a bit loud, but you push it in there and then you, you uh, stretch it out like this. You make sure that it is straight. And then you take your scissors. Scissors. And you have to not use dull scissors or else your hole will come out all weird. You just cut off a corner. And it can be tricky if you don't have dull scissors. And my cat is here. Um, so you just go at this for a while. Okay. Finally, we got this off, so I'm just gonna flick it away. <clears throat> so, cat is gone. Now we can take our glass, and this is crucial if you're Canadian. When you're pouring your milk, unless you're highly skilled like me, you pinch it at the back. And then, okay, now you've got yourself some milk. Cheers. Let's see what's inside. Professional alert. Professional alert. I expect it to look a little bit like chalk or for it to have like particles that stick together. I hope there isn't anything that like moves because it's supposed to be pasteurized. Pretty sure it's pasteurized though. Let's get this to the lab. So we are back and we've got the milk on the slide already. So all we have to do is raise the platform and then we can look and see what we can find. Right now I don't really see anything, it just looks cloudy because the milk is clean. There are some little specks from time to time, but that is probably just because the slide was dusty. A little bit, a little bit. It had some little things on it. There's more stuff than I thought, and there's this thing. I don't know what that is. So let's go up, nothing there, down. Oh, there's a thing here. <gasps> there's lots of things in the milk. Lots of little particles. Yeesh. Well, we can't very, really see very much on red right now, so how about we go to yellow? Okay, so we got it focused on yellow, and mm, it looks so bad. It looks um kind of like uh, those people that eat like the basil seed drinks and then it's full of like things. It looks like fish eggs sort of. So let's just move along. And there are lots of specks, which I did expect as I said it before. Just didn't expect it to look like this. I expected them to be chunkier. But there's just a lot of individual specks. And the microscope has been cleaned and so has the slide and the sensor. So this is 100% what the milk looks like. I really want to see what this looks like at blue. So I'm going to lower the platform and go to blue. It looks 
very speckled. It looks, oh, there's a lot of little tiny little balls and it's moving because I touched it by accident or just cause it's a liquid. That is gross. They're doing the atomic dance. That's what um, my science teacher made us do to show how particles move. He made us go and dance all around the classroom. And they look like they're doing that dance, so. They're just very clumpy, and it looks like a bunch of little eyeballs, so I don't like it. Um, and if you're wondering what blue and green is in the background, it's because we have light so that we can see the stuff. Can you stop? with your stomach noises. <coughs> it's because we have a light, and um, since milk is clear, we can see the light, sort of, if you get it. Um, so I'm just gonna keep exploring. And if we don't find anything, then we are going to go to white. It looks <coughs> fairly this. It looks fairly the same all the way through it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna lower the plate and go to white. Dun dun. Dude, what did you eat? Whoa. There's a bunch of like lines. They look a little bit like tadpoles, but they're not moving. There's just lines everywhere. What? I had no clue that this is what milk would look like. Lines, lines, lines everywhere. I guess this is just milk. Ooh. Oh! There are big things. That is quite big, actually. I don't even know what that is. It's just a big chunk. Chunky chunk. I'm trying to figure out what it looks like. It doesn't look like anything. And there are like lots of little tadpoles or something. They are not tadpoles, but they just look like it. They look like very tiny fish. And there's a V here. It look like it looks like Victini. <laughs> like the Pokemon. It looks like Victini. When it's like that, but not when you zoom in. So in the white zone, we can see that it is just white, honestly. And then all the little bubbles that we saw earlier have turned into lines. And they look a little bit like hairs. It's kind of gross. I just wanted to say that maybe um, since this is skim milk, because we only buy skim milk, um, maybe when you buy 2% milk or 3% um, milk or cream, it'll probably be thicker. And then you can probably see more of this stuff. And then this looks like an avocado. What's funny? little avocado. And there's the slide side, the side of the slide, with a little ball here that, uh, it kind of looks like a, like a hamster of some sort, like sitting, and it's like really fat, but it looks, it honestly looks the same the way through, and then sometimes you find some bubbles or something. So yeah, that's what milk looks like under the microscope. I drank this earlier and I'm not really grossed out because I didn't find anything that's pretty gross. I just, I feel interested in what those little hairs are because I would like to know what they are actually. So if you have a uh, hypothesis or a thought of what you think they are, you should tell me down in the comments. Okay guys, if you like and subscribe, you'll be able to see more of my content and I'll bring you guys more reactions to my microscope and you might get a cookie. Everybody wants a cookie. It's beautiful. Oh! Okay, sit down.